welcome we have our we've installed everything from here till here and some of the items in here are going to point to one of the scripts here but very very few and now the second step is check out what my personal folder is here what's it about what's in there what can you use what will you not use let's do it the same like here like so open in terminal to the other side as well you see me working as well in uh, on, on uh, a different kind of uh, um, well transparent terminal and all that it's all kind of white I really like the uh, desktop be dark but that's for another tutorial let's go and see what's in here these are all scripts to install and a few folders these are the themes we're gonna use and these are all the settings if there are settings I want to copy paste for programs like variety sublime text and so on screenshot Kim then they're in here and all it does is check uh, check what this does for instance we open this one what will it do it will check if there is a directory called a hidden directory dot icons and if it's not if it's not that's this one if it's not then you gonna create it make directory if it exists if it does not exist right, check if it exists yes or no true no false it does not exist then you do this and all it goes like on like that but it goes on as well for programs I didn't run I haven't run already so GIMP I didn't start it so GIMP will not have created a uh, directory so this little this little program here is actually going to make directories and the directories will be created for one purpose only to copy paste my personal configuration to these folders so that's that if you want to have a quick look ctrl h we're talking about gimp gimp has been created and these folders have been made but no scripts are inside next up is just copy pasting some scripts and themes and all that uh, further personal so this is done six of five take a good look at this here the left side six of five there you go my personal bookmarks are being copied data the dropbox that's not yet installed in sync that that's not installed but it's already there all the icons that have been downloaded are in here so the things you always go to bookmarks I need on every distro I go to are being copy pasted okay not difficult the six of five six of ten six ten is install personal settings keyboard shortcuts version three long word to just say that if you want a control alt -T to work then you should save all your shortcuts to some specific file and then load them back up so the keyboard shortcuts are here you can dump your keyboards you, that you've made let's take a look keyboard is it in here in GNOME here are all the keyboards so you make one you have to really type it variety minus T is going to trash a wallpaper variety minus T I have no problem of making it once but then at some then at some point in time I really want to uh, to be able to save it so all T is for me trash the wallpaper okay let's remove it because what I'm gonna do is run a script that's going to load all the key bindings so everything has been taken care of control shift escape is our gnome system monitor variety t all t is a variety trashing the wallpaper so everything is saved has been dumped in the previous installation and now it's going to be loaded again so that's why i say 610 load keyboard and here you go maybe we have to reboot let's check it out if it's necessary 
might be necessary. Don't see anything of, about variety, so we'll probably have to reboot, no problem. But it's in there and has been loaded. Okay, personal, that's this one. 15 personal settings screenshot to GPG, meaning 0.615 with dash slash better. Um, this is GNOME, GNOME screenshots. If we do control print screen, if it's not yet installed, print screen, not yet, so the shortcut does not work yet. But if we type screenshot, this is GNOME screenshot, take screenshot. It's now PNG. Okay, don't want to be PNG. Enter. Screenshot. Take screenshot. It's now GPG. It's about two megabytes of difference in size. I know PNG is nicer, but if you're hosting a website, I don't have that kind of space. 6.20, we're going to install the personal settings of GIMP. Remember, we took a peek, nothing there. I run this little script and all my uh, extra scripts and also the layouts, the themes, an extra theme, a Photoshop-like theme is there. Okay, that was this, I guess, 625, same applies, personal settings from uh, Variety, uh, sorry, for Sublime Text is going to be copied, the same now for Variety, do check out the code, you will see it's similar. So specific uh, settings are being copied to specific places so that when I start a program, it will find this personal configuration and use it. This is this. We've installed the art themes. We know the art theme from Horst 3180. When you run uh, Arc Colora, which is on my GitHub somewhere, you can change the blue color from Arc to any color you like. There are 60 million colors, and I've taken here a red color, a blue color, a gray color, a red color here, a gray color, and orange color. Okay, so there are possibilities for you to change the Arc theme. I do think 690 is nothing. Uh, once I need it, I'll just put the hashtag uh, away, but at this point in time, I'm not using it, the 690. And Firefox, it's good that Firefox is there, but you should check that Firefox has been started once. If it's not been started once, the directory is not created. So we don't have a Mozilla directory and we don't know the name of the thing because this one, this prefix is always something different. We know it's going to end in default, but this is not uh, unique, it's always different on every installation. So when in, once it's stalled, uh, once you ran it, then you can go ahead and run the 700, which is going to fix some of the settings. If you have an input box, you can't read it in dark themes. But now you can, it's just a little Chrome uh, folder that's going to be here, Chrome, user content, CSS, all it says is white for indicator count down counted and text area it's going to be white again and so on and so on okay so you can read it that's the goal of the script of the css and then everything is installed and we should continue in the next tutorial to customize our system